What did you do? What did you do? Look at Close it! Close it! Trying! Close it now! The Bioshock Infinite we played and for some loved or hated was and will always be the shadow of an idea that would have surpassed almost every single game in terms of story and gameplay mechanics. The original Bioshock Infinite wanted to test the limits in how much content a game could have at the time, with Bioshock creator Ken Levine saying they could have made 4 or 5 different games with what they had. But this idea was ultimately scrapped for being too ambitious for last gen consoles. As you can see in the gameplay from this video, its story and world was to be really different, as Infinite was first created to be a huge open world game, where you could access Skyline Rails almost everywhere on the map. It was to be the best way to explore as you wish, but unfortunately it wasn't really there in the final product. I still remember to this day how unique the game's first gameplay and trailers were. The 2011 E3 gameplay demo of Infinite depicted a much different game, with a tone that is much darker than what was seen in the series. The Sky City of Columbia was originally supposed to be much more politically and socially based rather than religious, with Comstock, the main villain, being an aged politician rather than a prophet. The world was also supposed to be a Nazi-influenced world with a hitler yacht like program for the young, which is why you would see so many crazy people after you. Every citizen in the game had a massive impact, you actually never knew if they would attack you or not, depending on how they feel around you and the things you do. The world also had a story in itself, with a massive civil war slash revolution going on. The revolution part would have seemingly been in full swing by the beginning of the game, with Booker, the main character, having come into the middle of the conflict tearing apart Colombia. The player was also to have come into conflict frequently with citizens aligned in different factions, who would already be fighting between themselves as the player came into the area. One of the most important part of the game that is almost nowhere to be seen in the release version is the tears. Tears which are a rip in dimensional time and space, revealing an alternate universe which does not exist in the current world of Colombia. Every inhabitant of Colombia would have been able to see tears, but Elizabeth, your partner in the game, would have been one of the only person able to create and interact with them. When tapping into these tears, she was able to transport objects from the other side to the current world you're playing. Those tears was really going to affect your overall relationship with Elizabeth, and even change the ending, depending on your choices. As the game developed, Elizabeth would have gained more power and allowed the player to choose two tiers out of five choices in one battle scenario. So, Infinite went through many revisions through its whole development, which then of course resulted in downgrades of most of its gameplay and animations in general. It's really sad to see this gameplay right here and not ever being able to play it. Even though the final product of Infinite was good, it didn't really offer nothing new and fell a little bit into the generic shooter shelf. It's like they got scared of showing its world and the stories around it. It looks like a completely different game. Songbird, the massive bird you're seeing on screen, was originally meant to be the main villain in the original Bioshock Infinite. It would have been searching for Elizabeth throughout the whole game and had its consequences if it saw you. Unfortunately, Songbird was never a threat in the final release of Infinite, and we never saw him most of the time. I would have loved to see him more. Moving on from this, the next Bioshock might be revealed pretty soon, with tons of rumors circulating around it and the second biggest gaming event approaching, which is Gamescom on August 19. 2K, the publisher company of Bioshock, will be present and will be announcing something new. Ken Levine, the original Bioshock creator, has now his own little studio and is also working on a new game. Let's hope we get something soon. <laughs> 